my lovelies and welcome to another video. Today's one, we are getting ready to go on holidays, you guys. Well, I'm not really sure in which order the videos are gonna go live as you're watching them, but what I can tell you for sure is that hopefully while you're watching this, I am going to be away in French Riviera, south of France, or somewhere really nice, hopefully sipping, what is it, like 8 p.m. that my videos go live. So sipping nothing exciting because my favorite drinks are coffee or iced coffee or fresh orange juice or something like that but anyway that's not the point the point is that Filippo just got home and he asked me baby have you already unpacked the net porter bags put the things in your suitcase and are we ready to leave because we are leaving in fact tomorrow and I have not because I had so many things to do today you know like before you're about to go on holidays I always make like a to-do list a list of like things that I need to do for work things that I need to do for like household things that I need to do for like beauty treatments you know like all all the different kind of like bits that you need to do before you leave. I just realized I took my engagement ring and I feel so naked without it. We need to immediately change that. Hold on. I took off my engagement ring because I was giving Filippo a scalp massage. Honestly, if I'm not a wifey material, I really don't know. I mean lol i'm useless in the kitchen but you know everybody has their pros and cons right we can't all be perfect it is what it is nobody's perfect apparently so i am packing for like never ending <laughs> holidays oh, i wish if only so basically in a month i'll be back to school like all of you guys as well probably by back to school i mean back to fashion week so i really want to make the most out of these holidays and i will be going to some of my favorite places on earth such as south france south of italy Monaco like Riviera style you know I told you already but I can't even truly remember all the things that I have ordered from net a -Porte, but I know that I have got some really cool pieces because there's a lot of mixed stuff I'm not gonna be able to hold this microphone for the whole duration of the video because obviously I need my both hands to a gesticulate b show you all the pieces I got from front back try on items etc and I feel a bit like I got ants in the pants hold on let let me try to figure this out. So before we start, I just wanted to give you all full disclaimers. I have been working with Netaporte for years now. I really love shopping on there. I've shopped there. It's probably one of the first places that I discovered when it comes to online shopping, which is pretty incredible. And I am actually excited to see myself what I got. So we have to start with this. Every single item that I will mention will be linked below in the description box, including all the sizes that I personally got for me. And and yeah, that's pretty much it. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready for some swimwear, for some beachwear, for some sunglasses, all of that good stuff because we will need it. So let's get unpacking. I mean, you know, the girl has to get somehow crafty. So this is going to be my microphone for this video. I know that overall I got many, 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 many things. This one says 35 items, but keep in mind that I also got some underwear. I don't think I will be showing you that because it's just a little bit too much for me as well. But the point is that well, I'm gonna need Filippo's help. I really hope he's ready. Ooh, guys, I got some really good stuff. Okay, okay, okay. I'm actually really excited now. I've emptied the first bag. I don't know what's the order of this gonna be like, but I'm just gonna go straight into it. Am I gonna try everything that I'm gonna show you? There's a lot of swimwear. And normally I would say I'm not gonna try swimwear online, but then I do think it can be quite useful for everybody if you are going somewhere to kind of like see how these pieces are fitted. So first thing that I got is this purple Hansa G bikini. Now I really love this color, the light purple. There's some weird noises in my building like because I think someone's moving so wow. I'm really loving this now that I saw it. It's like a very very basic and actually this top can I would say even be used as a crop top if you want to use like with pants and under a white shirt because it kind of looks like that. It doesn't look like a bikini bikini. The bottom looks like it could be either quite flattering or quite disastrous we're gonna have to wait and find out for ourselves but i'm really loving this color because i got recently quite a few pieces in this color and i think it's like the lilac -y color when i get tan or light blue are the colors that really 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 suit me so i couldn't pass on that 
opportunity. I also got the same, I think it's the same. First of all, I got the green one, but then I was like, you know what? I need a bit more. Then I was like, okay, if it's gonna fit well, maybe we should get the green as well. And honestly, I do not actually own a green bikini. Can you believe that? I know that you might think that I have like a full drawer of bikinis and it is true, but I just thought it was really cute. And honestly, this summer just seems like it's gonna be such a long, nice summer that I really wanted to have a lot of nice pieces. Billy. Are you gonna be able to help me try on all of these beautiful pieces and show them to my I people? I cannot wait. And I love that you love when we do all these unboxings together. Okay, let's do it. So I'm just doing this one wear, actually. The what? This one wear. Okay. You see? So next up is another bikini, I think. I'm not sure if I got this. Yeah, I think I just got the bottom. I don't think Philip was gonna like this one. Yeah. Can I see the top? There's no top. I only got the bottom for this one because I didn't like the top, but I really like the bottom. I thought it looked cute, but now that I look at it, I'm not sure how it's gonna fit. I wanted to style it with something that I already had from the top, so we're gonna have to wait and see what it looks like. But yeah, we're gonna see. So far, look, I got these purple and green bikinis. How cute. I love the fabric. Right? Me too. Love so it. cute, right? But, yeah, show me the top. Of the green and purple? Yeah. It's like a little love tube. It. Right? The best. I will try it on because I'm no. worried about the bottoms because do you think they'll suit me? Yeah, yeah, I, I'm sure. Yeah? Okay, we'll see. Looks quite tiny. I got another swimming suit in similarish material, but not the same. This is from Totem and it's a well, one you piece. You see on, my love. It's cool, hot. Trust Filippo to interrupt this important program and showing off all the new pieces. Right. So this is a one piece from Totem. I love the color and I did not stop myself at this. I think it's so chic when worn with the pareo that I got for it. So pretty. So when I show it to you, look baby how cute. This and this. Beautiful. I'm gonna show it to you together on. So this pareo, but it will be linked separately. I'm so excited that I actually get to try all of these pieces after because then I need to decide which ones I'm gonna bring immediately with me, etc., etc. And I can also kind of try on outfits that I'm gonna pack. It's gonna be so much fun actually. So we have the one piece on the back. It's like quite open. The straps are gorgeous, very thin. You will see that when I try it on. I got size extra small. And then I got the pareo. This is one size anyway only. I actually got the same pareo in brown as well. So you will see that as well. I know that Totem also does the pair in white and looks gorgeous, but I stopped myself at two, okay? I got a very, very classic and basic white tank top because I always need these and I have several of these. Now this one is from Wardrobe New York. It's one of my favorite brands. I have it in like gray as well from Wardrobe. I really love it and I have a lot of these. I have the one with the Prada logo, with the Loewe logo, etc. But I just wanted to have one that doesn't have any logos on because I thought like that's always a good thing to have if we can agree on that. Now in here, I got a very interesting corset. So we're gonna make a little break with swimwear to show you this Christopher Esber corset. Who remembers last Christmas I wore the white dress? I wore like a, quite a few same and like in Maldives as well, this style dress. But now I decided to get a corset because I think this is really cool and I'm really loving this asymmetric, unusual style. I think it would be quite cute for a little simple dinner, black trousers and black blazer if it gets a bit chilly, but you know the top does all the speaking, if that's okay. Love Christopher Esper. I think there'll be quite a few pieces in this haul from Chris, our good old friend, because he truly does good job. So many of you know, I'm very much into white dresses. Amelia Wickstead is a British designer. She actually, I used to go to her London fashion, I mean, I was at her London Fashion Week shows, I remember, and she really does beautiful, beautiful dresses. Now here's a white one that I decided to try on. It has a really beautiful neck. I decided to get this one, it's quite long. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it into a short dress yet. We need to decide on that one, but I wanted to order this as soon as I saw it. It just arrived on it for this, so I was like, okay, this could be quite nice. And then, <laughs> surprise, surprise, from Metaporte, let's see what Mr. Ah, these are quite thick. I got another pair of gala pants. So I think, I'm not sure if I'm right, I might have gotten two pairs of gala pants because I wasn't sure which ones I need. But these are quite wintry. They're more like wool material. They're definitely the thickest ones of all the gala pants I have and I have like five pairs. So I need to see what I'm in for, okay? That was just one bag. Guys, there's something from Gucci. Let me show it to you. I think you guys might also like this one for your holidays. 
It is a huge logo, Gucci hat, and it looks like this. Okay, I got size medium. My head is a 56 and I really like it like this. <laughs> Lol, I look so silly. I need to place it quite properly, but something is here stopping eyes the tag. Okay, so you can keep it obviously down, which is nice for reading, but then you can kind of put it like this. And I thought this was quite an extra hat and I know that not everybody's gonna love it. A lot of people are gonna laugh at me. This tag is kind of not it, right? But I really think it's so cute. It's just like all simple white look and this hat and... And I think we're good. What do you guys think? Is it a yay or is it a nay in your books? I need to know. I know that we said let's refrain from getting logo, right? But when it comes to little accessories, I think it's okay. Just like here and there, a little bit. Let me know what you think. I got something that is sort of a dress, a knit dress. It's from a brand that I've never actually heard of. And it's mint green. And I got this because I actually just got, I'm going to do a massive unboxing spoiler. I got Hermes Chypre sandals in mint green color. And they're, they're still unboxed. So I thought that this would go really cute with the swim and my Chypre sandals and like a beach bag. What do you think? I think it could be quite cute. Now I do have like quite a few nice beach dresses, but I mean... Can you ever really have enough of them? Like, you know, it's a question. Now, I decided also to get this shirt. It's sort of like a purpley blue lilac -y. I'm not gonna unfold it now because you will see it in the try on, but it's kind of like a men's shirt. It even has like that neck uniform thing, the plastic to keep it in shape. And honestly, I thought this would be quite cute for the beach because I quite like the men's shirt style look for the beach. From Totem, I also got these silk shorts. Now they go really well with the swimming suit that I've shown you before. So these two I think go really well. I'm not sure if I got a matching shirt. I can't remember now, but I really like the shorts. I got them in size 34, which I think is like 36-ish in Danish sizes, I'm not sure. But I really like this color. Just something easy that you put on, like we're gonna be on a boat. If I just want to put something over a swimming suit, something easy, this would be perfect. You know what I mean? That was the idea. Now I got a few beauty products. I didn't really need that many, but I'll show you what I got. I got my favorite Hourglass Vanish foundation. This is the stick foundation. It's the one that I like to use when I just want a little bit more coverage than usually, and I got a shade Honey. Let me check if this looks good yes it looks good because i will be tanned so it's a little bit more like dark than usually i also got thank god they were in stock on etaporte the gel liner from hourglass this is so beautiful and i got this sort of like a bronzy brownie color i'll show it to you in a close-up now okay here i don't know if you can see but it's quite cute i also got one item from hourglass i love hourglass so much can you tell that i have never used before but it's sort of like an ambient powder like my ambient palette that I normally like to use but this is the sort of I don't know how you call it it is diffused bronze light and it's absolutely gorgeous let me show you the color love it really 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 love it beautiful then we keep going a ton of swimming suit my god what have I done shall we make a little swimming suit break with some clothing because this looks like I need to go to a swimming suit rehab, honestly. No jokes. Guys, my favorite color in the whole entire world is navy, right? But look at this perfection of a brand. This is from a new on net porter designer. Wait, wait, wait. This needs like all of your attention, okay? All of your attention. This is from a brand called Cleo Pepiat, and I will, as everything else, link it below. But just look at this. This is going to be for my best evening mermaidy or boat beach day when I just want to be extra sparkly day. And I love this navy color. What do you guys think? I can't wait to try this on. I think this is so gorgeous. And I especially love this bottom. When I saw this, I was like immediate edge to basket. I think it just landed today. And I think for the amount of beading and amount of work on this dress, the price was really good. So yeah, check it out in the description box below because I do think it's absolutely gorgeous. What else have we got in here? <gasps> This is the most exciting piece of the whole. So currently, I have been obsessed 
with which brand, which brand, which brands. Pause this video and let me know which brand I'm obsessed with. If you wrote Alaya, you are right. Now I got this jersey black, kind of like flat turtleneck, very body hugging dress with these belts that go around waist that is absolutely insane. And I have my fingers crossed and you have your fingers crossed and we all need to have our fingers crossed that this dress is absolutely insanely gorgeous because we need it to work really, really well because I love it, okay? I love it and hopefully by now you have seen it on me and it looks great. Then in here, I have a dress, a white dress that I wanted for like sort of, again, French Riviera beachy vibes. I need to see how it goes. It's like very cut out, lots of asymmetric bits and bobs, but it's a linen dress and it's a midi dress and I think it's gorgeous. So it's completely different from what I've just shown you, which was like a very sexy bodycon, gorgeous black sexy like wow 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 catwoman style dress and then i'm like oh and then there's this white linen cute thingy okay i same as the totem silk shorts i got a same idea with these yellow cotton shorts kind of like this with the swimming suit and open matching shirt because it's a really nice cotton and like black and white stripe down the middle so i thought like this open it's like pajama style shorts and shirt just like it's so easy for a cover-up and kind of like a cool outfit type of sandals or my big straw bag from Prada look done no brainer so easy to just look put together guys I got one dress that I actually already have a similar vibe or same vibe I'm not sure in mint blue color I'm gonna insert a picture here and this is the same one but in olive green and I really love this color it's like a silk olive green beautiful cutouts this is just something so easy it can be a kaftan as well if you want to if you're that extra that like you're like this is what I wear to the beach but for me it's going to be like sort of like an evening aperitivo dress what I put on or like on a boat bare feet this dress still kind of like wavy hair sun kissed nose oh I'm living for this okay I don't even need to try this on I know this is gonna be perfect because I have experience with this so it was amazing and it's gonna be amazing and that's it what is in here also from Christopher Esper so I got this green swimming suit it has some stones around and I have another green Christopher Esber swim that I got on Netport 2 and honestly I really 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 loved how it looked so I decided to get this one on as well right now I don't know how to show it to you because like this it looks like nothing so we're gonna have to see when we try it on I also got I don't want to swear but a ton of Magda Butram swim and for the first time ever but that like I'm a veteran you know like I am experienced I know how to pick and choose my Magda swim but for the first time ever I got Marissa swim and this particularly looked gorgeous this was like a bow like something like this it's like a bow top you see and then we have matching bottoms really cute and then I got a scallop swim as well I don't know if this is a top ah I know this is a bottom and I did not like the top I just like the bottoms so I'm gonna have to decide what to do but I've decided to get the scallop bottom kind of random but you know a girl knows what she likes now, I left my favorite designer for the end. I got from Magda Butram this body that can be worn as a top, but also can be worn as a swimming suit as well. And I think it's so chic. It's giving Lady D. It's beautiful. It can be worn, like I said, as an evening piece or as a, like a swimwear. And with a big hat in French Riviera, I was like, I, I need to at least try it, okay? I got also a brown swim. It has a beautiful top. Beautiful. Beauti be <laughs> beautiful top <laughs> honestly sometimes i feel like i'm in a truman show a beautiful top with the rose in the middle okay and i think i got the matching bottoms here yes and the bottoms look really gorgeous okay i need to completely put them together i love this brown color for me on a swimming suit but i didn't stop myself there i also got a blue bottom the same one that i have red is the bottom okay and it's beautiful look at this just white shirt white crisp shirt is all i need on top of that and that is
is done. The top, I wasn't sure if I'm gonna love these little frills in the middle because the red one that I had didn't have that. So we're gonna have to try it and see to understand how this is gonna look. But I don't know how I'm gonna try anything here because this looks like one giant mess, okay? And the last but not the least, you guys, I got this beautiful light blue Magda Butrum swim that I don't even care how it fits. It's so beautiful. I'm 100% going to keep it. So that is what I got. If I forgot something, I'm gonna have to get back to you. I also got a birthday present for my manager on NAP because they have like really amazing shoe selection. But funnily enough, I didn't get any shoes for myself this time. So that's all I got on this occasion. I am going to now try everything on and then we're gonna continue packing and chatting and vlogging and basically just preparing to go away. And I'll talk you through my packing like to-do list when going on vacation that maybe will help you guys as well sort your situation faster or a little bit faster than me yeah guys why do i look like this because we're at home so i put on very comfy stuff and i need to pack i hope the mic's miking i have my packing notion list normally when i pack my beauty stuff for holidays i don't really need any kind of notion list i know exactly like the easiest thing to pack for me is makeup because i just go in the order of the things as i'm applying my makeup yeah sorry i know this hair is also a bit this is the makeup bag that i use for traveling i'm not sure if you can see it now because of the light reflection but it is this quite like i think i've had it now for two years it's a louis vuitton one but i've used it for many years i just had it before as well it, can you believe that when we got robbed they actually also stole my makeup bags that was pretty shocking and makeup inside and honestly i don't know about you, you guys but no matter how many times i clean my makeup bags makeup bags they're not like clean and perfect inside they are always gonna look like there was some makeup in there because palettes break they go around and all of that stuff so <laughs> to steal someone's kind of like muggy makeup bag i'm not even gonna comment on but yeah i have a few different louis vuitton bags and we're gonna pack them today now actually my notion list that's what i was telling you about so makeup and beauty are usually very easy for me when i'm going on a, like a simple trip however i now have several different categories let me read them out to you so i'll tell you how i do it so i don't actually forget anything when I'm obviously packing like very quickly and things have to be done very fast, then things get forgotten. Okay, so I have my packing list. I have like electronics, makeup, beauty, sun care, hair care, skin care. Yep, I know. So let's get cracking with makeup. Like I said, for makeup, I don't really need the list. However, it's good to have it because then I don't end up overpacking. Because when I don't have the list, guys, I could literally pack every single single item under the sun and it wouldn't be enough i just realized i was doing my makeup somewhere there so basically what happened is i had like another beauty bag but basically on my makeup list is primer concealer hourglass foundation chanel bronzer chanel water tint because now i really want to have also the lightweight foundation spf 50 chanel side blush tom ford blush matte powder mascara mascara primer eyeliner <laughs> pencils eyeshadows eyebrow gel eyebrow pencil body glow lip liner lipstick lip gloss that is it so we're gonna go straight in it so i'm gonna pack the kosas concealer and actually the charlotte Tilbury concealer because i'm really loving it it's a bit lighter but i really love it our glass foundation that i just bought on the porte it's in the living room so i need to bring it chanel bronzer already packed chanel water tint let's see which water tint i have i have a few so this is not the fresh water tint actually but i do like it along the similar lines i have this oh this is like a body glow Okay, so I have this one as well from Chanel and I really like it because it's quite light But I also really like the Romy like fresh light SPF 50 uh, Skin tint, where is it? Probably here. I used it. Yes, here it is. It's this. So I'll pack this Oh, I love this also the body glow the Chanel oil. We will have to pack that. It's amazing Packing the NARS eyeshadow palette this one. I need to start unboxing this because stuff I took the hourglass foundation and actually the eyeliner. I also took this Chanel, it's matching my shorts actually right now, the Chanel brush kit and I also have the SPF 50. I would normally put this in the SPF section, but is this the one I wanted to pack? I don't know, is it? Yeah, I think it is. It smells so good. I love also the Dior one. So these both I really, really, really love. Both are great. Normally I would pack this with SPF, but I will see in the end if I have space. So I wanted to pack the side blush, the eyebrow gel, 
the eyebrow pencil, this. This wasn't on the list, but I think in the end we'll probably pack it. Mascara, eyeliner, let's see. <sighs> what else, what else? Tom Ford blush, where is it? So my hair, I think, I have no idea. But I remember talking to my best friend while I was retouching my blush. Ah, it's here. It's this peachy one. It's really beautiful. It's what I've been wearing a lot lately whenever I wear a powder blush. And it is in Peach Poison. Love it. Tom for blush, that's it. Mascara, mascara primer, done eyeliner pencils, eyeshadows we need. And also it says matte, the new sticks matte thingy. But I will also pack the MAC. Studio Fix Powder, eyeshadow palettes, shall we bring? I'm thinking of going for this very old NARS Wanted palette. It just tends to work pretty much every time, you know? Let's see, where are we? Eyebrow pencil, body glow. For body glow, I will pack the Westman Atelier, this thing, and the Chanel body glow. Lip liner, lipstick, lip gloss, okay. Lip gloss, lipstick I can see that I like. Okay, I think I'm good. Oh, maybe I should pack this one as well, it's new. I got this new Tom Ford lipstick. Let me show it to you. Look at this. So Tom Ford lipstick in sunlight. Runway Royalty, Charlotte Tilbury, then Chanel lipstick in, this is Coco Rouge Coco Balm in Pink Delight. Maybe I'll bring this for traveling because it's quite cute. But actually, I love this one from Chanel. It's healthy pink. Let me show it to you. How cute. It's really, really nice and it's a balm. There's one more that I have lipstick from Chanel in Destination. I can't seem to find it. I need to find it before we leave. Okay, so now the only thing missing are the brushes. My favorite brushes are from Hourglass. I have quite a few. That's what I'm gonna pack. Brush, brush, brush. And honestly, this is it. Lip liner, just one. I just need to make sure that it's all good. Yep, maybe one clean beauty blender. Done. So that's my makeup bag. It's quite a makeup bag. Then we need to pack this one. In here, we need a lot of stuff. This is the beauty bag and it's going to include makeup remover, toner, serums, and I have a lot of serums. It's gonna include eye cream, moisturizer, body moisturizer, tingy bob, shaving, device for shaving like the gillette deodorant all that kind of stuff that's what it's going to include like most basic beauty things also it would include a fragrance and then i'll have another beauty bag which would include like very niche beauty things like cuticle cream let me find what is on a niche beauty bag because we're going away for a while i will need it so the other one will include like cuticle cream extra lip balms sheet masks hair ties eyebrow serum eyelash serum the castor oil, supplements, etc. I'm gonna have then also like a smaller bag with lip SPF, hair protection, body SPF, face SPF, which we already have, and tan oil booster. Like it's not booster, it's just like tanning oil with SPF. Then I'm gonna have airbrush, air wrap, hair mask, hair serum, hair oil. That's gonna be in a hair one. So guys, I'm gonna start packing this and then I'll update you on the progress. Guys, how many beauty bags does one person need? So I have the big nano, the small nano, the makeup bag, and this as well, big nano in light pink but honestly there's a lot of stuff there's so this is the general beauty this is the skin hair this is makeup and this is hair stuff and also some spf so it's a lot of things that a girl needs right i just realized Filippo brought me one luggage i don't think he's understanding the the seriousness of the situation but let's see what we can do with one for now there's one other thing i wanted to tell you that is that tomorrow we're leaving at like 12 because i have an appointment at 12 so technically if i wake up at 7 i can have a good five hours to pack but i wanted to do some work as well in the morning so i wanted to wake up at 7 so that i'm done with work by 9 because i'm very productive in those morning hours but if i'm done with work by 9 i can then pack for three hours so i don't really need to have everything done but you know what i want to do tonight something that i'm not going to want to do tomorrow morning and that is plan my outfits and pack everything in their separate outfits and i am going to do that even though i know that philip is going to be like come to bed come to bed come to bed but i'm not going to crack okay not going to crack guys okay started started making some outfits i'm going to pack them in the individual little compartments etc and then philip said okay so he came he switched off the lights and he said let's go 
go and uh, sleep so I think he kind of won actually guys I wasn't sure if I was gonna vlog this or not but then I like we're gonna vlog it and we're gonna see what I'm gonna do with it but right now we've been driving for so long actually we're going to the AP house in Milan and we're going to well I never want to jinx it but the idea is that I'll be picking up my new watch which I've been waiting for quite a while for months and months and months so it's been on my wish list since May last year so more than a year and now it's officially happening let's see also I don't know if you know this but um, AP house in Milan is going to be I don't know if I'm allowed to even say that I think so I will check before we publish it but there's gonna be a new AP house in Milan I think before the end of the year or next year and I'm so looking forward to it I've been to this one several times in Milan and it's cute but the new one is going to be epic my favorite AP houses so far that I've been to are London and Zurich they are wow but yeah guys I'm not gonna keep you in the dark this is honestly we just said the ap house is the most beautiful watch i've ever seen in my life and i'm so happy it's finally mine guys i wasn't really going to vlog picking up a new watch and the truth is that then like halfway going there i was like i'm just gonna do a quick tiktok okay and then halfway going there i was like why don't i just film it and maybe i will end up posting it so this video turned into a whole packing and picking up a new watch documenting what's going on but ladies and gentlemen today after a year and exactly three months of wanting this watch though i have placed it on my wish list more this year i finally got the watch i didn't think i would get it anytime soon because i was like really waiting for it and it's been on my vision board i've told you about it you've seen it i'll insert the video even from january i basically put on the vision board everything and anything that i wanted so a new watch i know exactly which watch i want to get in 2023 where you can see it as well i've been wanting this watch so much and it's finally here so i'm not gonna do like a special reveal or unboxing or i don't know what but i actually knew that it was gonna arrive this friday so i arranged an appointment at the ap house in milan in milan ap has the their like ap house they where i normally kind of go to do my things there's so much mess in the background i just realized let's make it a little bit better so i went to the ap house had a little coffee my favorite marchese desserts and basically we ended up i just ended up getting the watch uh, like you know doing the payment and all of that like the details invoices i registered it because what's really important i mentioned this before but on all new watches like if you got in the last two years ap is offering this like service like this kind of protection thing where if it gets stolen or you have like obviously like proof of something bad happening to the watch you actually can get compensated up to a certain amount and like they help you get a new watch which i think is really incredible and i'm so happy about it because then i got my dream watch and i registered it and it is the royal oak offshore pink gold with diamond bezel white dial and like gray rubber it's so funny it's my first chrono ap watch and it sounds a little bit different it feels a little bit different as well it's a really 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 beautiful watch i have to be honest with you very excited and it's been like in the making for such a long time so the feeling of excitement is even bigger now back to reality because philip was a little bit stressed that we still haven't left for our holidays and the truth is i do relate and i'm also stressed because i just want to be at this point on holidays but it's okay we have a little road trip ahead of us i still haven't packed everything and he wants to leave in a particular way so i still have to pack my underwear my sunglasses and the electronics and i also have a small pile of clothes here i close my luggage but i have a small pile of clothes that hasn't like i didn't pack that we need to still pack somewhere so guys sunglasses underwear and this pile of clothes that i still am yet to pack and i need to film one little tiktok that i want to film and then i'm ready to go but the truth is that it's a little bit a lot of work so let's hope for the best 